Yo guys, what's up? It's Josh again with Project Torture coming at you with a second foliage tutorial in the Unreal Engine 4. We did a first one last time. We're going to do a second one. I'll show you a couple more things here. We're going to work with the lasso tool, the scaling, and the random pitching of our objects. But I'll tell you what, what we're doing today is not going to be as usable as it was last time. It's going to be much more random, much more sci-fi, much more Unreal, which is good because Unreal for, for the Unreal Engine 4. We're going to make Unreal things. All right, just forget it. Anyway, let's go to the capsule here. It's kind of like a pill. You can see it right here. It needs a material. We're going to create a material, and the reason is... I'm gonna test because because I don't care and the reason is because you can put any material on these and it's going to function the way you want it to we could have a collar but I'm just gonna hold the number one because I want it to be white so I'll just change it to number one and there it is white I got this normal map this normal this water normal I'm just gonna drag it in here and use them we'll plug it into the normal bam and we need a panner we need all kind of panner we need to just hold the letter P and and click and then we need a texture coordinate you can just type in texture C Oh, there it is. We're gonna plug this into the coordinate. We're gonna plug that into the into the UV right here, and then bam, there we go. We're not we're not done yet. Go to the texture, change them to threes. They're both set to one with three and three, all kind of threes. The panner, the speed of the Y is gonna be at point two, and now this normal map is going to go up. It's gonna go up, and we love it. We're gonna go ahead and save that and close it, and the material's done. Just something real quick and simple, a little more complex than just a collar though. But we will grab the test material and drag it over here to the capsule editor, and we'll drag it and drop it right there, and bam. Now we can see it operating on our mesh. And if we drag it into the world like we've done a billion times, you can see it working the way we want it to, depending on the lighting. I love it. I love it. We can make all kind of copies, but oh yeah, we're going to do the foliage thing. So it's going to keep that material we did. So we'll go to foliage. We'll go click right here where the modes are. We'll go to the foliage tool here. It's asking for a static mesh. A static mesh. We got one. Oh, we got one. The capsule, the pill, the, the, the shape of sorts. Drag and drop it in there, and bam, we can go ahead and start painting just like we did last time. It'll take just a second to load up the material, but then it will, and then we can go through here, and bam, we got our capsules, our little watery moving pill things. Now, check it out. If you crank out a bunch of them, you got a bunch right here, and you're like, oh, man, I went over my line a little bit. I went over a little bit. I wasn't supposed to. You can actually go on the paint tool. You go to the lasso tool right here. Just click on that, and then you can select just certain ones and then press the delete key to delete them. Let's say I went too far over there. And I want to turn it back into a line kind of like that and then kind of just straighten it out. There you go. See, I'm deleting them as I want. Now, you can always just control Z, but if you want to just delete certain segments, you just paint them on. Oops, made a boo-boo. Lasso them out just like that. So basically, that's a way of doing it, a simple way of getting rid of them. Instead of control Z, just get rid of sections of them. So we'll go down to the scale. Now, I'm going to chain, crank up this density to about 200 for now. And I'm going to crank this one up to 1. So if I'm painting... Yeah, we got all kinds of them. We're making all kinds of them. We'll control Z and get rid of those. If I go down, go down to the scale here, it's set to one and one. I'm going to set them both to point two. Point two, uh, maybe, maybe. Point two and point two. And now they're going to be what? Oh, they're going to be tiny. All kind of tiny little pills. All kind of tiny little ibuprofens. We, we can just get rid of those, though, because let's say we want a bunch of different sizes. Well, how about point, any size between 0.5 and 3? Oh, now it's going to paint all kinds of different sizes of them. And like I said, the density is kind of jacked. You may want to change that. But as you can tell, you see different size. And I mean, it's just random. Little ones and big ones and all kinds of different ones. And you can continuously use your lasso tool to do what you need to do here. And bam, there you go. So if I was getting I was getting all kind of brave and I'm like 512, I ain't going to do it 5. Thousand. We'll go six thousand. I got this big ball here, and bam, all kind of them. As you can tell, they're all different sizes, but we can do more than that. We can do more than that. We got this random pitch right here, and it kind of basically what it does is. Well, before we go to the random pitch, look at this Z offset. If you actually see it, it's all set to be on the ground. But if I'm saying if zero is fine for the men, but let's say the max, I go up to 2,000. So now it's not going to have any problem spawning them on the Z axis from zero to 2,000. And what is that going to do? That. Makes like a funnel. You can kind of fly through them now. It's kind of making like a very procedural kind of thing there. They're very random. You can just control Z and do it again and control Z and do it again. And you could actually set this to a negative number and it would go below the floor. For instance, negative 2000 here. And if we do that, bam, as you can tell, it's going way down through the floor and as, as far as it's going up, actually. 2000 and negative 2000, voila, or whatever or not. So let's do a couple more things. Change this back to zero, though. Change that back to zero. I like the way it's setting up here, but I'm going to do one more thing to show you guys how unusable this may be but I really like the fact that they gave you this option the random pitch here is set to zero the pitch is kind of like the roll of that model so if I change it to where it can rotate up rotate up to 90 degrees and now I go to paint one well make sure it's 90 and not nine uh-huh we'll change it like this and now if I do it right here bam it's got all kind of them and as you can tell they're all randomly randomly rolled and the pitch is just random and like the Z offset is cranked and as you can tell we're just flying through a big giant funnel full of floating ibuprofens 
and wow uh, you know what i don't even know what to say like it's it's just a very strange thing that you can do here and like i just think it's really cool how far you can stretch the foliage editing you can really make it to do anything you want actually like between calling and and setting the z offset and the pitch and, and like being able to just completely just completely warp the way these models are, are are doing it so if you could just crank down your six this changes down to like 300 here and if i just paint well maybe maybe if i change it down to 300 here and we just paint across our mesh here it's still going to do ridiculous things as you can tell because of the angle and the offset that we've created so once again you can do very unreal sci-fi strange things and put some more complex materials on there and it look great right but hey thanks guys for watching I just wanted to show you another thing you could do with them it's very strange like i said go back to your lasso tool and delete them as you wish but i'm not gonna lie it's gonna be a little more difficult to delete them now that they're cranked out through the air so i might control Z if that's not exactly what you're looking for but anyway basically guys thanks again for watching I appreciate you I just want to show you guys that you could do some really extravagant things with the foliage editing very random and very just wild stuff super unreal super unrealistic super sci-fi I love it thanks again guys for watching our second foliage tutorial I will be back in a few days with more things blueprinting materials particle systems all kind of cool stuff but for now please if you don't mind like the Facebook page and go subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep up to date with us we are going to continuously be pumping out tutorials getting a little more complicated here and there but just making sure we cover the basics thanks again for watching you guys are awesome thanks for being part of the team I will see you guys next week